what's up? Um, okay, let's get a few things straight. One, I'm not. Two, if you are a straight dude in the audience, I need you to leave. <laughs> this is entertainment for women and homosexuals only. <laughs> okay, nobody left, now I know who's gay. <laughs> now, where are the queers at? Shout them out. <laughs> All right, statistically, there should be a lot more of you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll find you. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a baby queer. I'm new. Hi. Um, and it's fun. It's exciting, you know? Because now I get to live out my dreams of disappointing all the genders. Uh, I'm also non-binary as well. Uh, my preferred pronouns are bruh and bruh. In high school, my pronouns were bitch and bitch ass. I went to a very progressive high school. Uh, Joe Rogan was our vice principal. So. Uh, you know what's cool about being non-binary is that, uh, well, now you can't call me a fuckboy anymore. Uh, now I'm a fuck them. Uh, my parents have been saying that for quite some time. Um, I just got a prescription for anti-anxiety medication. Uh, yeah, I got it so I could gaslight women more confidently. <laughs> yeah, anxiety was really getting away of that. <laughs> Listen, hot girl summer's over. It's fuckboy fall now. It's my time to shine. Um, I'm also 36 years old, uh, please believe me, <laughs> and I just want to apologize for this mustache, um, <laughs> it's the best that I can do. <laughs> I can't even grow a full handlebar mustache. You know how much creepier a half a handlebar is? <laughs> like, if I have a full handlebar, I just look like a douchebag, that's fine. But having a half a handlebar mustache... I look like a child molester and the molestee at the same time. <laughs> it's very confusing. Do you guys... Do you guys ever... Okay, you guys know who Sigmund Freud is, right? Okay, we all look like we graduated eighth grade. Okay. Um, do you guys think Freud's friends were ever like, Hey man, you ever think about shutting the fuck up? <laughs> I keep talking about fucking your mom a lot. Like, you good, bro? Like, I... Oh no, it's an Oedipus complex. Everyone has it. Nah, I think that's more of a you thing. <laughs> Never once thought about killing my dad and fucking my mom. Um, I'm jealous of people who had immigrant parents. Um, because I'm third generation. So I still got all the trauma and abuse, but none of the work ethic. <laughs> like, what was all that for? <laughs> like, if I had immigrant parents, like, I could have been a doctor or a lawyer. Instead, I became a skateboarder and a local rapper. <laughs> not the same. <laughs> I don't think this is what my ancestors wanted. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I always hear about straight dudes complaining about dating. You know, they're always like, ooh, I can't get laid. Um, I actually don't have that problem because I'm good looking. Um, <laughs> no, my problem is uh, once they get to know me. <laughs> No, after they get to know me, they're like, Ugh, there's a lot more problems here than I was expecting. <laughs> I was looking for a project. This is a haunted house. <laughs> Why are the walls bleeding? <laughs> also, what's with the demons in the basement? Are you in therapy? Go more. Keep going. Um, I, uh, I just reached a huge milestone in my life, you guys. I, finally, quit. White women. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Not all heroes wear capes. Um, well, I, I didn't plan it that way. You know, like part of the reason I dated so many white women is because, um, well, I live next to Whole Foods and a gluten free bakery. <laughs> I, I just fuck based off proximity. Um, I don't know. People always ask me what's my type dating wise. Um, my type is uh, mentally ill and depressed women. That's not who I'm chasing, by the way. That's just who keeps applying for the job. <laughs> um, oh, also, uh, this year I hit uh, seven years uh, sober. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but don't worry, ladies and queers, uh, I'm still toxic. So. <laughs> so you can see me after the show. Anyways, uh, I'm late for my AA meeting. Uh, you guys have been great. Uh, my name is Dane Cook. Woo! Woo!